Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Noir back again for another episode. And today, something that I thought I didn't do, notice I had to change the color for this one because never in a million years did I think that I would agree with Jeffree Star. Now, I think by this point, we all know who Jeffree Star is, so he needs no introduction. But I wanna get directly into a clip. This comes via Bustin' With The Boys. It's a podcast. I'm gonna link them down below. Please get in their views. It's been out for three days, so I wanted to give it enough chance to breathe before I got, um, got into it. He discusses the issues with the pronouns and how it can become very confusing, even for them in the LGBT community. So we wanna go ahead and review this really quick, and then I add my commentary as we go along. So let's go straight into it. All right, here we go. When do you think, from a, from a child's standpoint, mm -hmm. When you're talking to somebody, they're a young eight-year-old boy. Like, we we don't know. We have no idea what we want, what we don't want. I have no idea. People I think argue. this is a very they important discussion, that way, actually. They came into it. be attracted to someone, and they don't know what it means. Right. When do you yeah. think it's, like, an appropriate time for to let that child, I guess, ask those type of questions and understand those types of things? Mm. They can ask them, but I think when a parent tries to direct them to a certain way too young, not it. Not, not it. No. Pause. Never in a million years did I think that I would be agreeing with Jeffree Star, but I actually agree with this point. When it becomes a point to where the parents are pushing more for it than the kids, I think that's an issue for me. Um, children are very creative when they're little. They want to be fire trucks, they want to be dogs, they want to be cats, they want to be squirrels, they want to be stars, they want to be a lot of different things. So a lot of the times we don't take them seriously like that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't take your child seriously if they figure like, I want to be a girl, I want to be a boy give them the opportunity to grow out of things and or either grow into things. Because a lot of times we take that too serious and we start pushing them way more than what they are able to comprehend and understand. Because I've never been truly on board with allowing children to, I guess, transition into these things without them fully understanding. Because kids don't know this when they're young. They don't, but that's my opinion. Let's go straight back into the crib, okay? If, you're, if your daughter looks like a tomboy, it doesn't mean she wants to be a boy. It means she wants to explore her creativity and you should yeah. let her be her. Yeah, that's like a hard thing. Like, like the transgender thing. Just make a good point. Is like, I just don't understand it. Yeah. So I just like, I do my best to be like, hey, people do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. But I, they say like the brain's not developed. There's so many layers. There's so many layers. Look, the wording, the layers is true. And, and I get into this when we say the layers, and I, I'm sorry to keep stopping, but you know, copyright and everything like that, just to be fair. Um, when we think about the layers and what goes into the different types of pronouns and different things like that, you don't know. I can typically see a, a woman that I think is a female, but then you say, excuse me, miss, and they say, well, I'm not miss, I'm a them, they, or whatever like that. It becomes very confusing. It's a lot, and you don't know how to distinguish what from what. So let's go ahead and continue. Yes. All of you fucking hate it. He <laughs> <No. laughs> said we all hate it. <laughs> It's just a, it's no, it's mentally complicated because the, our culture has made it more complicated. Yeah. That's the problem. Thank it you. Seems like, yes. Yeah, it definitely seems that way because the brain's not like developed to 25. I, I'm not into all the other bullshit. I think. What other bullshit? The they, uh, the they and them. See? Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone was so bored on their <laughs> fucking houses. They just started to make up more shit and more Not because everybody bored. Yeah. That's where the like, conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you okay. have a conservative you're vibe to you. Them. You're trans, you're male, or you're female. Pause. Okay, how did you guys feel about that? Let me know down in the comments. Jeffree Star himself said it. You either male or female. Here's the point why I really, I agree with all the points, really. But I really agree with this point, basically, because when it comes down to healthcare and different things like that, you can't go into a hospital saying, I'm an alien, or I'm a dog, or I'm a cat. They don't know how to treat that. They know how to treat male and female. And for those of you who may have a rebuttal back and say, well, they need to learn how to um, um, treat trans women or trans men. Here's the thing. You still carry the same biological traits as men and women. So you have to be treated for one or the other. It's not of trying to make it more difficult than what it is. It's scientific, scientific fact. Like you either have one or the other, and even whether you transition or not, you still have original plumbing for one or the other. That's the thing that I think that a lot of people are getting confused about. And we're not trying to say that you're not whatever it is that you're trying to be now. It's the fact that the matter is, let's actually go with real science and what you were born with. You were actually born with the internal plumbing of either a male or a female. I don't think that that's um, an insult to the trans community, in my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you may think, but let's continue. It's not that much more left. I'm so mad when I say that. Mm. How are you? But why what the fuck does that mean? 
<laughs> stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic, you hate trans people, you hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. Yeah, I can see. Pose. Such good bars, Jeffree Star. I'm going to give Jeffree Star his props. Now, any other time, I'd be like, man, fuck Jeffree Star. But this time, I'm going to give him his props on this. Because here's the thing. We can't say anything about it, so you have to. That's just like, and I hate to compare this, but that's just like in the black community, right? We all see a lot of dumb shit that come out of the black community, but whenever somebody else tries to call it out, a lot of the times, a lot of people claim it's racist. It's not. So in my opinion, if you call out something that's wrong or in a constructive way, let me say that, then it's not considered whatever, any type of phobia that you may be. If I'm confused or ignorant on something, don't automatically label me as a phobia or whatever it is that you may be, or a rapist or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be delicate with my words, but you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's okay just to have a conversation and just educate people and say, hey, no, it's not this, it's not that. And if you have a difference of opinion, as long as it's respectful, you can have a difference of opinion. But let's continue with the rest of the clip. I can see you're comfortably on camera and say like, I, I truly just don't understand it. Yeah, and that's okay. But that's as far as I can go. Yeah, it doesn't and mean you're hateful. Yeah, see, and then you, like you said, like I you like are the perfect stuff. vessel for this type of situation. Yeah. You, are you steam in that? Are you making sure that people know, hey, listen, no, there are I no things in them? a lot about it, because I, I love doing certain things, like in the gun world, or like, you know, and I go to a lot, and do a lot of podcasts for things that are not beauty related, and I think mm. that's what's fun. Interesting. I Let me tell you something. First of all, I never thought in my a million years I would be saying this. I actually like Jeffree Star in this clip, only because he comes across relatable, as if, He's sitting down having a conversation, but I feel like a lot of public figures are like this. Like they do crazy extra things in the public eye just because it makes a name for themselves and it kind of gets that name buzzing and whatnot like that. But in private, I feel like they're just like this. Like they have these deep conversations to where they talk very, they articulate very well and they say things that you can relate to and you're like, I like this person. Now, the public figure I hate is an asshole. But this person, I actually like. I really agree with the points. And I think that if we take enough time to really, truly understand everybody, we can get through a lot of the confusion. I really do. Um, I stand by the fact of you generally, you're going to have to be one or the other when it really comes down to it. And I'm talking in the sense of medical care and things like that that are truly important. The doctors have a lot to deal with as it is. Going in you're a pregnant guy, but truly like biologically you're female because men, in my opinion, cannot get pregnant. Now I understand that trans men can, that's a different topic for a different day, but I'm just saying realistically birth wise, we know what it is, but I like this description of what Jeffree Star had to say. And I like that the podcaster had an open mind to hearing him out, him or her. I'm not really sure what Jeffree Star identifies as, but please, I'm pretty sure some Jeffree Star, um, fan would let me know what they identify as but I truly really expect respect the actual conversation being had and it not being like this this demanding like hammering down your throat calling somebody like homophobic transphobic or whatever it is like that but please let me know your comments down in the, um let me know your comments down below and please I invite you to like comment and subscribe to Noir and I truly appreciate you guys coming by and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>